So in this tutorial we're going to continue our state machine and uh, we're going to start scripting something called an interface. Let's start by right clicking on our code folder and creating a new folder calling it interfaces. Let's make sure that we uh, make only the I capital. Zoom in on that so you can see that a little bit better. Now you can think of interfaces as um, anything in life that has an interface, like a game has an interface. You, this is Unity's interface that we're looking at here. Your remote has an interface to is the interface for your television set. Um, you are the interface for the Kinect. So how, what what is interfaces in respect to coding then? Well, you can think of an interface as a script or a series of scripts that tie all of your other code together. So I'm going to go ahead inside here and I'm going to create a new C sharp script called iStateBase. So just right click, go to create C sharp, capital I, capital S, state, capital B, B, A, S, E. Let's open that up. Okay, so the way you do this is we're actually going to um, initialize this I state base as an interface. So first let's go ahead and delete all of this stuff on the inside. So we're starting out with a clean um, area. I want to make a reference to the interfaces folder. So I'm going to go up to begin state and I'm going to grab my namespace here, copy that, and paste that here. And I'm going to change states to interfaces. And you don't, we're, an interface um, isn't necessarily a class, so we're just going to write interface here, lowercase i. Let's get rid of mono behavior because we're not deriving anything from that. So here we have a public interface called iState. Now inside of here, we're going to create two uh, method calls. Now the methods don't exist yet, so we're going to actually type them into the begin into our begin state. But what we want to do is sort of look at how um, our interfaces communicate. So we're going to type these in incorrectly. Uh, we're going to sort of write some bad code right now, but it's going to help to teach us how interfaces actually work. Let's also not forget that we have to wrap our namespace. That's why we're getting that error. And we can get rid of these usings because we're not going to be using them. We want to keep this as clean as possible. Remember, our interface is just a way of sort of combining or collecting um, all of our methods together to sort of create an interface that will communicate with all the other scripts. So let's start with two scripts, or two methods rather. We're going to do void, date, update, and then I'm going to actually tab these in a little bit. And then void, show it. The reason why I'm putting a void here on this, these two calls is because um, that we're not going to be passing any information back and forth. So go ahead and hit Control S and save this. If you need to, pause the video to double check that you have it accurate. And then let's jump over to our begin state script. So in order to use um, the classes located within that, we need to put in a using directive. So I'm going to type using here, jump back to my iState base class, and copy assets.code.interfaces from here, paste it in here, and hit semicolon. What I'm going to do here is hit Control S, and um, jump back into Unity, and press play. We should get two errors. Let's make sure that all of our codes are, all of our scripts are saved. I state base and begin states. We also need to um, make sure that we are our, our class here is deriving from I state base. So I'm just going to copy I state base from here and replace mono develop. By doing that, what we're saying is, um, again, we're tying all of these different, oh, we want to make sure that's in begin state. Here we go, begin states. I'm going to change this to iState base. So now this class begin state can 
access or derive any uh, and or have access to any of these methods that we put in there. So make sure that your begin state you write in the interface name here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control S to save that. I'm going to make sure that this is saved as well. Now when I jump back into Unity, we should get an error. There we go. We I didn't even have to press play. And what it's telling us here is that we did not implement the interface members. Okay, so it's saying we didn't even do anything with it within our begin state script or our begin state class. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And as we do that, let's go ahead and just copy both of these names. Or let's start with this one. Let's go back to begin state here. And below our, our constructor, I'm going to go ahead and paste that and do an open and close curly brace. And let's jump back to our iState base. Let's copy void show it. Okay. Open and close curly brace. Now let's take a look at um, editing these. So I'm going to add an extra E behind start state update. And I'm going to hit control S here. Let's look at the error that it gives us. So let's clear this off. And I'm going to press play. And you'll notice you'll get the do not implement. So this actually is the, the uh, error we want. It says does not implement. So it tells us that begin states does not implement interface member. And then it tells us state update. So it's saying it's not even located within it. And then you can see here that it's just telling us that um, we don't actually have any code or anything that's really utilizing our I state member here. So it's and not public. So let's take a look at further scripting this. So if I remove that E, the other E here, and it's spelled correctly, I should get the exact same error as the one bef below it. Notice that. Now let's take a look at making these guys public and seeing what kind of error we get there. should clear itself out. There we go. So that's essentially, this is essentially the way that you sort of talk between interfaces. So in here, in our begin state scripts, we're going to look at uh, utilizing each state. Our interface is going to be a collection of similar methods that could control a character's uh, states. And then our state manager is going to be the actual, what we want to sort of implement or how we want to act to those states you know, how we control health or power-ups or what have you. So we'll continue to work on states in the next video.